when I come out here and there's a piece of wood, man, I gotta make something out of that. I, I just feel like I have to put something on there that's in my head or that I've seen that I enjoy doing. And the hours just melt away as you do it. I'm Tim Festrick, and I'm a retired teacher who has taken on the uh, interesting task of also carving, which I started about 25 years ago. I taught in a major city, inner city school, and uh, as a sort of outlet and uh, therapy for myself, I began doing relief carving. My inspiration comes from a number of different areas. It could be something online, could be a source book, could be a film, could be just uh, something I've imagined myself or always thought of as a picture in my mind. It really comes down to drawing the picture that is visualizing the image itself and then <laughs> removing the wood that doesn't look like that. It, it really is sort of that sort of a process. So I'll typically work in a number of different areas uh, from start to finish and not sort of bottom up or top down or left to right. As I go, the image that's forming uh, in a way shows me what my next step has to be. I've tried to stay as traditional as I can in that I use uh, strictly hand tools, hand chisels, taking away wood that ends up being just a, as smooth and as natural a transition from one area to another is very, very satisfying. It's very beautiful to see the grain come through that you didn't realize was there. A person viewing a carving, or, or any artwork for that matter, when they see it, they're, they're met by the end process. They're met by the completed work. Most of my pieces are probably in the 60 to 80 hour zone as far as completion is concerned. When you see that realization cross someone's mind that what I've just put in my hands that I'm going to put up isn't just a picture, it is an amount of time, it's a process, it's uh, something that another human being has developed because of their interests, their talents, their efforts, their time, and has meaning. And that to me is again a type of success when they can realize that. I think the thing that's driven me the most is that I do it because I enjoy it. And if what I've created is attractive to someone else, that's fantastic. When I start working on something, uh, I seem to go in waves. There can be a time where, where I'm in the first stages and I'm just into the, revealing the image and, and figuring out how I'm going to approach it, how deep I'm going to make my cuts. Uh, I really get excited and I've got a lot of energy for it where I find as I'm in the later stages, I can go a couple of days and just not want to look at it and then come back out and I get fired up again. It's just, a, it's a compulsion. You, you have to. You, I, there's not a day I, I don't go by where I just feel like I have to attack this a little bit. I have to come out, carve a little bit. It's, uh, I, I don't know if it's any one thing or just part of my nature, but I, I feel like I, that's just who I am. I have to do that. If you're interested in getting into this sort of hobby yourself, you'll probably have in your area a woodworkers guild uh, or uh, an outlet of some sort that may offer classes in uh, types of carving. I think the best thing is to uh, try it.